Hi, I'm Tom Scherer, NDSU Extension Agricultural Engineer, and today we're going to be talking about water quality, in particular the total dissolved solids. Now, all water contains some minerals, dissolved minerals, and at low levels they're good for you. Uh, it helps the body for all mammals, but when they get excessive, they become a real problem. And especially in the western part of the state, in the summertime, when water uh, dugouts start to evaporate. They start to uh, concentrate the minerals in the water and it can get to toxic levels for animals. So today we're just going to show uh, an easy way to check an EC meter, electrical conductivity meter, to see if it uh, is reading appropriately to measure water supplies out in the environment. And we're going to be using handheld EC meters that look like this which uh, measured electrical conductivity of uh, the water. More minerals in the water easier collects, conducts electricity and therefore uh, there's a relationship between the EC and the total dissolved minerals. And on these meters it measures the conductivity across the one centimeter and there's two probes on here as you can see one centimeter apart. So to make sure that the meter is correct uh, or been reading a pro uh, right uh, we can do a simple test in your home uh, using salt and distilled water. First thing you want to do is just measure out four cups of water to put in the bowl. And I'll do the, and you want to do it accurately, so I'm going to get down here and just fill this up. It's on a level surface, so I can see that I got just about exactly two cups. And so I'm going to measure out another two cups. So now we got four cups of distilled water in here. And to that we want to add one quarter teaspoon of salt. Level it off by shaking and then just dump it in. So we're going to mix up the water, make sure that all the salt is dissolved. And we'll let it set for a little while to make sure it's finished. So then I want to check my EC meter. And on this type, I want to make sure I set the multiplier to 0.76 so that it gives me an estimate of the total dissolved uh, solids in the water uh, for natural water. So if I just, on this one, if I just hold this on and let it up and I go down, it has these different settings, but I can go down and at P4 you can see the multiplier set to 0.76. Every meter does it a little bit different, but uh, you can set this from anywhere from 0.5 up to up to 1 if you wanted to. So. Uh, since that's set, I can now we'll go into reading mode, and right up here it says TDS. So now, if I just stick it into the water and swirl it around, you can see it's reading about 2.54 uh, parts per thousand. If it was reading in, if your meter or another meter was set to read in uh, parts per million, it would be 2,530. And that's about right. And that reading, the way we measured it here, could vary anywhere from 2.4 up to 2.6. And that would be a good reading. Now one caution here is if you have a calibration um, solution from the manufacturer, I would recommend that you follow their procedure to calibrate your meter. But if you don't have that, or it got lost, or it's old, or you changed the batteries in your meter, or you dropped it, uh, as would is pretty common, then I would just mix up a salt solution like this and check it real quick to make sure that it's reading properly.